G'day guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a mullet fish trap. So these are the things that we're going to need. Right here I've got this super duper clear box and this is the clearest one I can find. It's not the best but it's what I can find. I got this from the shop for eight bucks and this is the most important thing about catching these mullet is the clarity of the box you're getting. These mullet like just love the clarity of the box. It's like nothing's even there. So what I'm gonna do, I've got, I've got a drill, 50 mil circle saw bit and I'm gonna drill this right into that little dot in the middle of this box and that'll create a nice hole for the mullet to go in. So because this box is actually plastic, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a blowtorch and blowtorch the tips of this circle saw bit so it just nice and easy sinks into the box. So now I think that should be enough. So right now I'm just gonna quickly turn this off and try it. Oh, and there we go, it popped right through. Take that back out and look at that, a nice clean circle. I'm gonna give this quick blowtorch just to get that edge a bit rounder and get all that yucky stuff off. Okay, so now the trap is complete. And so when we get a chance, we're gonna head down to McLaughlin's Beach because I've seen a lot of mullets swimming through the shallows there. And what you gotta do is you gotta put either rocks in it if it just floats out of the water but you only put it in about that high of water above the trap because the mullet always likes swimming through the flats along the beaches and everything like that. And we're just gonna put some breadcrumbs in here. The mullet will come and when the breadcrumbs spew out of the top into all the water, it will make a burly trail and the mullet will come, eat all the, the breadcrumbs and they'll find the honey spot in the breadcrumbs and they'll go swim right in there. And then when I go to lift it out, the mum will actually not swim straight up. They will actually swim straight to the sides. And all of them will be clumped up around the sides here, trying to get out. All right, so we're at Quick Locklands now. Just before I showed you how to make the mullet trap, and now we're going to use it at this beautiful location. So I've got my trap here and I've got two of these weights from a weight belt. And I've just put them in the trap just to help it weigh down. I've made a little hole in the trap so the air bubbles can come through. And what I'm using for bait is breadcrumbs. And I've already tested it on these mullet down here. There's about like 500 mullet down here. And they love these breadcrumbs. So we're going to put them in the trap and see what we can catch. Alright, so I've got the trap baited up with breadcrumbs as you can see. And we're gonna go ahead and pop that in the water. I'm just gonna put it over the boat because there's heaps of mole everywhere. So let's do it. Now just like that, perfect mole trap set. guys so as you can see here we're trying to stay hidden there is so many mullet going into that trap there's like probably about a dozen in the trap already and they just keep going in one after the other like when one goes in the others follow all the time now that's perfect live bait alright so it's been about 20 minutes though as you can see, the mullet have swum away, but the mullet that are in the trap have not swum away. So we've got about 20 mullet in there in 20 minutes, so 
that's pretty good. So when we when we pick these up, I'm gonna get one of them, hook it on my circle hook, and I'll throw that out. And see if we can catch a big flat flatty. Right. All right. So I reckon I put a little bit too much breadcrumbs in there, but we got a nice mullet here. And see that? That's a perfect size mullet. We can just hook that right through the top lip and cast that out and see if we can catch a nice flatty. Okay, so the next video, I'm actually gonna be using the mullet to catch some flatties and whatever I can catch. But today I'm gonna to end this video here. So hope you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one for part two. Thank you.